Hey, what's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. Here this question is asking a turbine blade made of metal alloy has a length of 5.3 cm, a perimeter of 11 cm and a cross section area of 5.13 cm square. The turbine blade is exposed to hot gas from the combustion chamber at 973 degrees Celsius with a convection heat transfer coefficient of 538 watts per meter square Kelvin. The base of the turbine mate maintains a constant temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and the tip is adiabatic. Determine the heat transfer rate to the turbine blade and the temperature at the tip. Now here they are asking for the heat transfer rate and the temperature at the tip, right? Now also they have mentioned this is an adiabatic tip. Now for the adiabatic tip we can use this equation. The temperature equation that can be used is this one tx is minus t infinity over tb minus t infinity is equal to cos hyperbolic m l minus x over cos hyperbolic ml right now here what we are trying to find is this one so temperature at the tip is going to be this one so tip mean what we have to do is we have to take this one as L and calculate this value. Now, if I take L, this is going to be zero, right? Hope cos hyperbolic m times zero. So we will get cos hyperbolic zero. That's going to be one right here. Now, if you write this one in terms of L, let's write this one in terms of L. This is going to be L minus T infinity over TB minus T infinity. And this is going to be just one because cos hyperbolic one, zero is one. And in the denominator, we are going to have cos hyperbolic ml. Now, ambient temperature, we have that one. So here we have this temperature, combustion chamber and 450. So this one is ambient temperature and this is base temperature. So we have these two temperatures available and length is also available. Here, let's see. The length of 5 to 5.3 centimeters so we have length available but we have to find out the m value to find out the m value if we use this equation m is equal to square root of h infinity p over k a c now h is heat transfer coefficient that is provided right here and perimeter also given and then we have thermal conductivity that's also provided cross sectional area also provided so we can go ahead and plug the values. But before I write that one, let's list them outside. So heat transfer coefficient is given that is 538 watts per meter square Kelvin. And then we need perimeter that is 11 centimeter. And then we have area, cross sectional area that is 5.13 centimeter square. And also we need thermal conductivity, right? K that is 17 watts per meter Kelvin. Now let's go ahead and plug this one. So here we are going to have heat transfer coefficient, 538. Let's write this one a little bit bigger. So here we are going to have square root of 538 watts per meter square Kelvin times perimeter that is 11 centimeters, so the 11 times 10 to the power of minus 2 meter divided by thermal conductivity that is 17 watts per meter Kelvin times cross sectional area that's going to be 5.13 and this is going to be 10 to the power of minus 4 because this is centimeter square, right? So here we are going to have 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square and if you calculate this one you will end up with 82.8 three seven six meter minus one now we have the m value now we can go ahead and find this tl right now let's go ahead and calculate this one so here we are going to have tl is equal to one over cos hyperbolic ml m is 82.3 371 times the length that is so let's let's the length right here length is 5.3 centimeter 
So this is going to be 5.3 times 10 to the power minus 2 and uh, also we are going to have Tb minus Tf energy. So that's going to be on top when you multiply this side. That's going to be on top. So we can put it on top. Tb is best temperature and we know that one that is 450 right. So base temperature here is 450. So 450 minus 973. Right. So 973 and also we have to bring this one and add them this side. So 973 this side. And all together if you calculate this one you will end up with 959.715 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be the temperature at the tip. Now also they have a skin for the heat transfer rate. Now we can to find the one in adiabatic tip we have to use this equation. So again let's get rid of this part. <laughs> Let's get to this part. Here we are going to have Q dot adiabatic is equivalent to this one square root of H infinity PKAC times TB minus T infinity times tan hyperbolic ML. Now let's plug the values. Here we have heat transfer coefficient 538 times perimeter 0 0.11 times K17 times cross sectional area that is 5.13 times 10 to the power minus 4 and then base temperature that is 450 right. Base temperature is 450 minus ambient temperature that is 973 and uh, also we have tan hyperbolic tan hyperbolic ml we calculated m already that's 82.371 82.371 times the length that is 0 0.053 right and all together if you calculate this one that's going to give us negative 375.605 watts and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching